going to Idaho to hopefully kill a big buck. If the bow hunting gods are in our favor, I get very paranoid about my equipment, anything changing. My string stretched a little bit over the last week and I had started to hit low. I'm just gonna go down the bow rack, just verify, shoot through paper, check the wheel timing, just so I know, flying out today, hunting tomorrow, I just gotta know that my bow is 100% perfect. An elk is a big target. Generally, I kill bulls, I can get pretty close to a bull. Um, mule deer, wide open country, sagebrush, potential for longer shots, smaller animals. So yeah, precision is always vital in, uh, in bow hunting. They don't get big by being dumb, so gotta be at my best. in there. A little tweak. Slice here low. That far low. Now we're dialed in, ready to go. Go kill a buck. We're back up to 86 pounds. Flying perfect, that arrow just flew like a dart. So, we're good. And you'll kill a big Idaho buck. Pretty pumped. Um, pretty feel pretty lucky to be able to hunt here two years in a row. Last year I killed a big buck, and we're gonna try to repeat that luck. And uh, shooting good. Just gotta get everything squared away. Got some walking to do. Get ahead of these bucks. Get them where they're bedded. Make a plan. Stock in. Kill something. 4:30 right now. Yeah, we're ready to rock. for backup and they ended up both blowing out and got no chances at either one. Instead, just sweated our balls off walking around in the blazing sun. But other than that, it went great today. Maybe it's just a rock. see his tail moving. Let's go kill the buck. There's six bucks. Probably about a hundred yards from the spine of this ridge to the spine of the next ridge and they're down in the bottom somewhere. We're not sure, sure where, but there's two shooters.
vision. Then he, I looked, he was 68 walking away. And he popped up. Yeah. When the wind would lay down, it was so quiet. They heard us up on this ridge because the sound from ridge to ridge just goes right to him. Like this little buck and he had us pegged. But then this, he's like a big, I think he's a big old three point. And he stood up right here and smoked him. Was it glorious? I see his antler. He's just not your standard buck. I've killed a lot of, a lot of standard four by fours, and uh, these days, I just want a good bow hunt, and I want cool old animals. And I felt like he was the one. I'm really thankful to have made a good shot and put this buck down quickly, and uh, pretty, pretty pumped. We're here on public land in Idaho. Made it happen. Very lucky. So I went all the way up, liver lung. But it just got one long. but it's actually actually more than a month. It might be six weeks in the mountains. It doesn't have quite the same ring to it. The first leg of the journey, though, is in the books. Killed an awesome old buck in Idaho on public land. Um, great trip. So heading home, got to recalibrate and get ready for the next one. Can't wait. <laughs>